So Tessa, tell me a little bit about, more about weight and testosterone. Yeah, so that is a common question that we get is how is my weight and how's my diet going to affect my testosterone? And it really does in so many ways. It easily, the very first one, it could be affected by nutrient deficiencies. So if you're deficient in things like zinc or magnesium, some of our B vitamins, your body cannot naturally produce testosterone. And even if you're getting those testosterone treatments here, if you're deficient, your hole is efficient, as essentially blocked to where we're not able to use it in that way. So we wanna get those nutrients in through the diet, but when we are living in a way that is nutrient deficient, a lot of times that includes foods that can give you the comorbidities, things like cholesterol, high blood pressure, high blood sugar. And that's something that we really, really wanna look at because these symptoms that we see along with this mm -hmm. and these types of sicknesses, um, like the fatigue, like the symptoms of erectile dysfunction. If we have something like high cholesterol that makes the blood very thick and waxy, it's very hard to circulate the blood, including in the groin and in our sexual organs. Same thing can happen for women. We can have a loss of stimulation. Um, another one we wanna look up is there's plaque buildup in the body. Erectile dysfunction is actually one of the first precursor signs to something that could lead to a heart attack or a stroke. Mm -hmm. Because if we've got a blockage in one vein, there's a chance that we've got blockages elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And then we get into our weight. So if we are possibly eating in a nutrient deficient way, eating in a way that leads to high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, then there is a good chance that we are going to see an increase in weight, especially around the midsection. Mm -hmm. And the more fat cells we have, the more estrogen we have. And as you know, that's the opposite of testosterone. Mm -hmm. So very simplified, it's almost like a scale. So even if your testosterone is high, but you have a bit too much body fat, so that estrogen is also high, that's gonna throw you off. Mm -hmm. Continuing this vicious circle, now we have more body fat, we're more fatigued, possibly nutrient deficient. That does not sound conducive for wanting to go to the gym. Right, right. So then we're gonna lose some muscle mass and muscle mass helps produce our testosterone. The less we have, yeah. the less testosterone we're gonna have. So I know that sounds like a really crazy vicious circle, but again, we're here to simplify it. We have testosterone replacement therapies here with Heather. I'll make sure you can receive it well and it works and we've got our body in the right way to, to make this successful. So come and visit us at the Men's and Women's Wellness Institute and we'll make sure you're feeling your best. Yeah.